acht over half twaalf. Straks een, een bijzondere award voor, nou, misschien wel... een student rechter, Lila Kazakova, hier uit de stad. Genomineerd voor een Viet Award. Ik begon met vloggen, omdat toen ik aan mijn rechtenstudie begon... aan de rug, ik eigenlijk echt iets miste om iets creatiefs te doen. En dat kon ik niet echt in mijn studie kwijt. En wel in YouTube, dus daarom was ik mijn eigen YouTube-kanaal begonnen. Hoe schat jij je kansen in tussen al de Westerlingen? Ik vind het wel lastig om mijn kansen in te schatten voor de vierde Award. En dat komt omdat in mijn categorie vrouw best wel sterke tegenstanders ook zijn genomineerd. Dus ik heb mijn stemmen wel hard nodig. guys and welcome to law school vlog 29 as you can see i'm already completely finished with my hair and makeup still really need to get used to this hair and yeah so today it's monday and i don't have any classes so i'm going to study at the library today so recently I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys if I have any travel plans for the future and I definitely do because I'm actually going to Malta with my best friend Oki in the summer and I also get a lot of questions about um, meeting new people when you're traveling alone I actually teamed up with the app called Badoo Badoo is an app where you can meet new people and chat with other people and also date if you're single like me so with the nearby screen on Badoo you can actually meet all the people that are nearby you I'm going to use Badoo to meet new people in Malta for example just just somebody to go shopping with or a party or that kind of stuff and I'm going to use the app Badoo to actually meet people that live there and other travelers I just think it's so much fun to meet new people it's the coolest part of traveling so as I said before it's a dating app but you can also just use it to meet new people so yeah if you're not really into that this app is also great to just chill with somebody that you don't know from another country so what I actually can do right now is already set my location to Malta and then uh, look for people that are now in Malta and and then set something up for whenever I'm going there because then I can get to know people already before I'm actually going on that trip through Badoo so as I said before on this app you can actually meet new people and chat with them or also use it as a dating app they have this matching game that you can play and then yeah you can match other people that you're interested in so um, yeah this part was sponsored by Badoo but I just think it's a very good way to meet new people whenever you're traveling alone or I know you're just traveling with a friend but you want to go out in a group or something like that or I don't know I just as I said before I think meeting new people during travels is one of the coolest things about traveling um, so yeah I just wanted to share that um, if you have any tips for Malta let me know in the comments down below as well we like our vacations to be chill but also kind of in the city that we can do some sightseeing and of course a little bit of partying too so yeah any tips would be greatly appreciated two deadlines that I need to finish. Uh, on Wednesday I have a uh, deadline for the course, it's called Social Philosophy, Language and Power, which is very interesting and it definitely gave me a little bit of a different perspective on how people view language. It's actually very powerful and it really makes us um, see the world in a certain perspective. In first instance it's not something that you would think about if you think of power but language is actually very powerful 
anyway so uh, yeah that's a deadline that I have on Wednesday and it's about Derrida and I heard awful things about him so that's super exciting <laughs> and then on Sunday I have a deadline for this course called philosophy of the humanities and I'm going to write an essay about Freud. If you're excited for this new law school vlog, please give it a thumbs up. I've been kind of in the law school vlog mood again, so that's great for all my law school vloggers and I know you're out there. Um, also, quickly wanted to say, if you haven't watched my latest video, I uploaded yesterday actually. Um, it's the do-it-yourself uh, desk decor ideas and styling tips. It turned out so fleeky, if I can say so myself. I mean, this is my desk situation and I get so many questions about it. So. Oh my god, you guys. Do you have any idea what kind of thing is inside of this box? I do, and it's probably... I do, and this is probably going to be the most exciting unboxing that I've ever done on my channel because this is such a monumental moment of my life. Um, my god, can you see this? To hold this closer to the camera. Can you see this? Oh my god. It's a box in a box! <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> no, okay. Um, throw it on the ground as always. I'm kind of scared to even open this. So it's a box. It says YouTube and it also says in the like comment. And I think I know what it is. I think you also know what it is. And um, okay. Oh, this moment. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah! <laughs> this is it. This is my silver play button for passing the 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. This is the silver play button. I'm going to hang it in my room today as well. If that's even possible. Yeah, yeah it's possible. <laughs> um, it's actually very heavy and it's super pretty. Um, unfortunately, it's not rose gold, so it doesn't go perfectly with my interior, but oh well. I can make an exception for the display button. Um, so yeah, definitely give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for the fact that I finally have the silver play button. And um, yeah, now I'm going to, uh, to head over to the library. Although I'm a little bit too excited, to be honest, to be studying right now, but yeah, duty calls. <laughs> So guys, I just really want to thank you because without you, I couldn't have accomplished and um, received the silver play button because you subscribe to my channel, you follow me. So thank you so much and let's go for that gold play button, which is 1 million subscribers. And I know that seems like so far away, but I think we can do it. So uh, yeah, definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Quick outfit of the day. So the leather jacket that I'm wearing is from Zara. My top is from Brandy Melville. My belt is from Gucci. My jeans are from Monkey and I actually got them off myself because I'm so small. And these super high booties are from River Island. I love them because they're actually very comfortable. And my bag is from um, Alexander Wang. So that's today's outfit. I really like it. Hey guys, so I just came back from the library and uh, now I need to do some more studying as well because I still have to read quite a bit for uh, Social Philosophy, Language and Power, such a long name. And I actually was planning on shooting an outfit in a bit, but unfortunately my photographer just said that she was too busy, which sucks. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. Hey. 
I look like crap, but I just came back from dance class. I actually did two dance classes, which I haven't done in a very long time. And I'm very tired, but I'm pretty proud of myself because I'm really getting fit and working on my summer body. Um, so with that being said, I thought it would be cool to do a little grocery haul because I know some of you are very interested in what I eat. Um, so the first thing, and by the way, I got a lot of juice because I was so thirsty in the supermarket. So I got some rocket salad because I'm going to make myself a salad. This uh, vegan uh, chocolate milk is made from oat meal, oat milk. Uh, this uh, nut and chocolate bar. I never eat bars, but I thought it would be nice to have some with me when I go to class because um, I've been trying to eat very healthy or kind of healthy, and sometimes I crave a little bit of something chocolatey, and this is just way better than regular chocolate. Some lactose-free milk. A zucchini, some almond milk for iced coffee that I make or uh, just to drink it like this, I really like it. Some cherry tomatoes or actually a lot and some grapefruit juice because I really wanted to try this one as well. So I'm just chilling and I was reading my comments on my latest video which was my um, do-it-yourself desk decor ideas video and like there were a couple of comments that said something like um, it's so inspiring to watch you being successful in literally everything and still manage to look bomb and be creative and persistent with your YouTube channel. i um, just reading the comments and first of all, thank you all. I just think my subscribers are honestly the coolest and the best people and I honestly see you guys as friends. But I do have to say that um, I am not perfect. I don't want to give you this feeling that I am better than you, that I am higher than you, or if you know what I mean. I am exactly on the same level as you are yourself. I am no different from you or anybody else and the things that I can achieve are exactly the same things that you can achieve as well. I just want you to not see me as this I don't know, celebrity or something. I'm not saying, like, I'm not claiming that I'm a celebrity, not at all, but I just want you to see me as a person, like a human being, just like you, just like me. And we're on the same level, we're on the same page, and I am not perfect at all. And the things that I do and the things that I can achieve are exactly the things that you can do as well. I also have my bad days and days that I don't do shit for school or I just feel bad or alone or sad or whatever. I also have those bad days. I just choose to show a positive picture of my life because I want to spread a positive message. And I feel like no one can benefit from negativity. I also don't like looking back at my vlogs where I'm like very tired or I don't feel well just because I can feel that negative energy and it attracts that negative energy as well. Um, yeah, so recently I've been not feeling that well but I feel like I'm finally getting over it. I think it also has to do something with the weather. Although I'm not really that type of person that's a sun child, I'm more into the moon, like I'm a night owl, I love the moon, like a full moon is one of the prettiest things in life I think so I'm not really into the Sun at all however I really enjoy waking up to a room filled with light instead of darkness so yeah that's definitely making me feel a lot better and I just want to make these law school vlogs a little bit more personal and yeah share a little bit more of my feelings and thoughts because I personally find it way more interesting than just like I don't know filming me that is working behind her computer so yeah I think I'm going to end this law school vlog right here because I am very tired and just want to chill and not like worry about filming everything um, by the way still really enjoying my silver play button and that's my random toilet like it automatically flushes it's so weird Anyways, if you enjoyed this last school vlog, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you're excited for the fact that I'm making more vlogs again. I'm really kind of in a vlog mood again, so I'm very excited for that. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, of course, if you want to be subscribed and part of the law fam, even if you're not studying law. And yeah, I don't have anything else to say. 
Have a fucking amazing day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. Thank you.